1965, April. <laughs> I've just turned 15 years old. Scrunched down in the back seat of my mom's car, looking over my baby sister asleep on her end of the seat. Aww. I wish I could fall asleep or read, but there's so much noise going on in the front seat. It's my mom and my old social studies teacher. Mom. Sophia, if you hadn't offered to come along and help me drive, I don't know what I would have done. I couldn't have come on this trip at all. Oh, don't be silly, Carolyn. I'm just delighted for a spring break diversion. You know, I will never get used to that woman being called Sophia. When I had her three years ago in seventh grade, she was Miss Quit Running in the Hallway Salazar. I had her. And for some inexplicable reason, she and my mother have become great friends. Which is why I get to spend spring break on a road trip with my mom, my baby sister, and this woman I really don't like at all. We're going to Oklahoma again. We were just there for Thanksgiving. It was awful. Every time I walked into a different room, a new relative would do a double take and go, Whoa, little Megan, well, the late bloomer finally blossomed. Oh, look, we made her blush. I was mortified the whole time. It's, it's like, what, five months later, and we already have to do it again? Well, Grants, New Mexico is about halfway between Santa Ana, California, and where we're going, and the Oklahoma. Mom stops at the little motel where we always stop on our trips. And my little sister's only three. She has nightmares, so she has to sleep with Mom, which means I get the bed with... Oh, quit looking stricken. It's not like I snore or anything. But while Miss Salazar is in the bathroom, I quit, get into my pajamas, crawl into bed. I pretend I'm asleep before she's even got her teeth brushed. I float into wakefulness. It's dark. Still, I'm aware of the most delicious sensation. On my belly, inside my pajamas, a dry, cool scritch, a fingernail making little figure eights. From my bra line to my belly button, a little higher, a little lower each time. This feels delicious. I feel like there's a little flower getting ready to blossom. I pitch myself out of the bed, onto the floor, and land with a thunk. Megan, what was that? Says my mom. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. I, I, I bumped into the door. Gotta go pee. In the bathroom, I lock the door, sit on the closed toilet, and I think, what just happened? That's that feeling my mom warned me about when I started my period. The, the feeling that's a sin until you're grown up and married with your husband. And, and that was Miss Salazar's hand inside my pajamas. Megan, what are you doing in there? Nothing, Mama. I flush the toilet. I come back to bed. Miss Salazar is snoring quietly. I lie there, nauseated with dread about how awful it's going to be in the morning, how awkward when everybody wakes up. And in the morning, I wake up to... Hey, get out of bed, lazy bones. Your mom's already got the car packed. Miss Salazar, acting like nothing happened. And all day long in the back seat, I look up front and, and she's jumping with my mom. She, she's, she's reading to my little sister. She's singing Girl Scout songs with them, like nothing happened. And in Oklahoma with my relatives. She acts just like every other adult friend of the family. Like home. Nothing happens. So by the time we get home, I conclude that <laughs> nothing happened. Not really. That woman must have been so sound asleep she didn't even know what she was doing. And, and what was she doing anyway? Really? I mean, it's not like I got molested or anything. She didn't touch me there. I'm, all right, I don't like her at all, but that doesn't automatically make her a pervert. Forget about it. Just put it out of your mind. And that's exactly what I did for 35 years. Till one night, I was in a counseling session, and this forgotten incident popped 
right into my memory. I told my therapist about it. She said, well, 15-year-old Megan didn't know what to do. Didn't know how to make sense of that. Now that you're 50, what do you think? I said, oh. <laughs> that woman was a predator covering her tracks. That bitch knew exactly what she was doing. 